I'm going to turn you on to how to mine for tier 2 and 3 information from your local Avalanche Center website. When you take a level 1 Avalanche course, you're going to learn how to read an Avalanche bullet. I'm reading the Avalanche bulletin every day because I want to track trends as the season progresses. Now that's going to include top tier information like the Avalanche danger, ranging from low to extreme. It's also going to include the avalanche problem of the day, which could include such things as wet slides or a wind slab or persistent slab. These will all be broken down by the aspect, compass orientation, and elevation. That's crucial information. But the hidden gems are the tier two and three information that you'll find behind the scenes. I like to comb through the field observations pages, which I would call more tier two information. Field observations are where people come back in after a day of riding and they submit what they saw. Uh, maybe it's some shooting cracks. Maybe they heard some whooping. Maybe they saw a crown up on a north facing slope. There's a feature on the CAIC website here in Colorado that I love called the Avalanche Explorer, which maps out all these observations according to the compass rows. That way I can get the big picture on which aspects and elevations are the most touchy. And then finally, the day I go riding, I'm looking for that tier three information. And that for me is the weather station. If I get up in the morning and I look and I see, hey, they got more snow on the west side of the zone than the east side of the zone. I might say to myself, hmm, maybe I'll go powder chasing over on the western side of the zone. So as you can see, there's all kinds of great information you can mine from your Avalanche Center website or app. And it's not all about safety. It's also about maximizing your fun.